how would you like to listen to the sound of the Parthenon? The Parthenon is not only an architectural wonder, it's also a musical wonder because the dimensions of the Parthenon can be played, have a healing effect on us. So in this week's episode of Aikistis TV on YouTube, I'm going to be playing for you the dimensions of the Parthenon. Before we go in to subscribe to this channel. Why? Because you're going to get better notifications when I upload a video, but also you're going to help my channel spread this message to more and more people. So go ahead, hit that like and subscribe now. Welcome back, lover of wisdom. There are so many fascinating clinical studies about the power of music on humans, animals, and plants. One that I find amazing was the work of Japanese geneticist Suzumo Ono, who in 1986 discovered DNA music by converting the nucleotide bases G, T, C, and A to the musical notes A, C, G, and D, respectively. This intriguing revelation led to the question, if DNA can be translated into music, can music in turn affect or change our DNA? Sound, as we now know, possesses mass and has the ability to vibrate matter. By delving into the study of semantics and exploring the potential effect of music on our DNA, we can begin to uncover the possibility of utilizing music as a healing tool. Incidentally, the word cymatics derives from the Greek word kima, spelt with a K, which means wave. The DNA music connection demonstrated by Dr. Ono's groundbreaking research, who translated the DNA sequence into a melodious compositions, opened a door to a realm of unexplored possibilities. By associating specific musical notes with nucleotide bases, Ono revealed the inherent musicality encoded within our genetic blueprint. This discovery not only ignited fascination, but also prompted profound questions about the reciprocal relationship between DNA and the music. If DNA, the fundamental blueprint of life, can be transformed into music, what potential influence could music have on our genetic code? Ono's approach of converting DNA into harmonious melodies highlighted the underlying connection between the complex language of genetics and the universal language of music. Now let's circle back to the golden ratio and the healing music of the Parthenon in the Acropolis of Athens. As you may recall, the golden ratio, often represented by the Greek letter phi, is an irrational number that possesses many interesting properties and appears in various fields such as mathematics, art, architecture, and nature. There are many characteristics and occurrences of the golden ratio which we can't go into detail on this video, but we will focus here on nature, art, and architecture. 
The golden ratio can be found in various aspects of the natural world, including the arrangement of leaves on plants, the branching of trees, the spiral structure of shells, galaxies, and even our own face and body proportions. The golden ratio is also found in famous artworks and architectural designs, including the Parthenon of Athens and the Great Pyramid of Giza. The golden ratio not only makes these buildings more aesthetically pleasing, it has been observed over thousands of years that merely being near these buildings triggers a sense of inner harmony. It's interesting to note here that the word harmony is derived from the Greek word armonia and the word music is derived from the Greek word for muse. Just a parenthesis here, the nine muses of the ancient Greeks are goddesses of the arts and sciences. They were believed to inspire humans in various endeavors from music and poetry to astronomy. Each muse has a specific domain of influencing humans. The muses were considered the daughters of Zeus and Mnemosyne, the goddess of memory. In other words, the right music can make us remember something about who we are and where we came from. As in the origin that's hidden in our own DNA. The Greeks built the Parthenon with such dimensions as the golden ratio as a way to recall their own source energy. You can imagine the Parthenon as something of a cosmic harp that resonates with your DNA, triggering a type of gateway process through synchronizing your brain hemispheres. As Johann Wolfgang von Goethe said, music is liquid architecture. Architecture is frozen music. So now, enough theory. It's time for you to enjoy a taste of this universal music of the spheres, as Plato called it, that the Parthenon transmits. To listen to the recording, I recommend you use headphones or ear pods and that you are in a safe, comfortable position, preferably in a dark space, lying on your back with your body spread out like Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man. You can listen to the first 15 minutes of this music now and if you like the experience, you can later invest in the three-hour version from the website link below. Please prepare for a deeply relaxing trip through what I call the Acropolis Star Gateway. First, close your eyes here and now and imagine that you are placing all of your worries and thoughts into a dark box. You are mentally emptying out all the anxious thoughts into this black box. And when you are ready in a few seconds, simply open your mouth widely and slowly release the sound ah. Simply put the heavy lid back onto the black box. Excellent.
Now is a good time to repeat your deep affirmation three times, your life mission and purpose. No matter what happens in your life, this will become a reality. And now, on the count of three, you're going to return to full open awareness, returning to your ordinary life. One, take a deep breath, expanding your shoulders, expanding your arms over your head like you do early in the morning, stretching yourself. Two, take another deep breath and move your body stretching from side to side. Three, extend to the tips of your toes and the tips of your fingers, stretching your whole body, feeling revitalized, you're feeling confident, you're feeling powerful and certain of yourself. And as you're returning to full awareness, simply stretch your neck from side to side, relaxing your shoulders and opening your eyes if you've had them closed up until now. You look around and you see that the environment hasn't changed, but deep in yourself, you know that you have experienced a deep transformation. The reality may look the same, but you have changed, and that changes everything. That will attract the most positive energy. No matter what happens, you know that you are able to handle things from a place of inner strength and confidence. Thank you for joining me in this guided meditation. I look forward to seeing you next time.